First story we got here. During the fresh start of quarantine, I met this boy named Jerry. My friend Mari was in a game called Breaking Point on Roblox and I wanted to join her game because he was low key trash talking and being annoying and I wanted to team up on him and kill him. We chatted a little throughout the game and we had fun. He gave his discord and we started talking to each other. So much to the point where I couldn't wait to finish my Zoom class and I would talk to him while I was in class on Zoom. He wasn't too active because he was also in school, middle school to be exact. We were like 12, 13 when quarantine started. But as time passed, a few months, he started talking to me more. And to be clear, I thought he liked my friend Mari, so I didn't view him as anything more than a friend. But then he started flirting with me and I wasn't sure how to react to it. Wait, so I acted like it didn't happen or I was jokingly told him to shut up. He keeps flirting with me and is at the point I told Mari, my friend Mari, I had a huge crush on him. And of course, of course she runs immediately to tell him, even though I told her not to, while I'm talking to him while we're playing games together, he asked me if I like him. Okay, there's not too many fucking commas and periods. This shit pissed me off. It was, we had a good run. We had a good run. Periods, man, he used periods. In the sentence. I'm sitting here talking on run on sentences because I don't know when the fuck the sentence is supposed to end. It's not me, man. It's y'all. It's always y'all, not me. He asked me if I like him. My heart dropped and I got, got nervous and I'm really insecure and I don't consider myself to be an attractive person. So I was very anxious when he asked me because I knew at some point show each other what we look like if we had gotten into a relationship. Okay, there go a period. Damn, that was a long ass period. I told him I didn't like him, but he knew I was lying. He kept pestering about it. I admitted to him that I liked him and he said he didn't like me back and my heart sunk. And then he said just kidding and my heart fluttered oh bro i need a little oh like bro my soundboard wag bro why didn't you tell me to update the soundboard and she was really attached to him despite only knowing him for like seven months and really liked him they got into a relationship and he tried to be a, and he tried to be a little bit more active like they were both in school and he had football practice eventually we showed each other what we looked like he showed me what he looked like on camera but like the dummy i am i forgot to look at the screen while he did it and i was watching total drama island lol but I said he was cute anyway because whether he was ugly or not, I was going to stay with him. I also sent him a photo of myself before he showed me what he looked like on camera. Anyways, two years passed. Not much I can remember because my memory is not the best. But something I can remember is that he makes me smile and blush to this day. And it's when he added me to a group chat with my friend while I was sleeping. And he said, see, this is my girlfriend. I told you she was real. And he just seemed so happy and proud. And it really meant a lot to me. Oh, they trying to get me to cry or something? My eyes is kind of burning because this shit is so bright, but like, I actually, hold up. It really means a lot to me because I am a very insecure person and knowing somebody was proud to have me as a girlfriend built up my self-esteem. During our relationship, I lost a lot of my friends because unfortunately I wasn't a great friend. I didn't know how to deal with my insecurities properly. Me losing my friends took a toll on my mental health and it took a toll on my relationship with Jerry. Aww. She should have took it to wife head. <laughs> it ruined her relationship with Jerry. My text got drier and I couldn't fix it. I was still so in love with him. I was way more attached to him because he was one of the few people I had left. One day I was playing a drawing game with with my friend my other friend who was a guy i'm an artist and he also is an artist but he's way better than me and he was helping me out and giving me tips and complimenting complimenting my art jerry joined i assumed because he saw me and the other guy in the server wanted to see what the fuck was going on he was chill about it and then all of a sudden had a bunch of compliments for me which kind of upset me because at this point he barely talked about me and it kind of hurt but i didn't show it anyways me and my friend kasudo kasu Cat, I'm gonna call that nigga cat, are talking about art and Jerry was kind of left out of the conversation, which is something I still regret to this day. Jerry eventually leaves the game and I I'm messaging him on the Roblox app while I'm talking to Cat in my server. And all of a sudden his name just disappears from my friend list. When I tell you my heart dropped, my heart sunk. I was literally shaking so bad. Me and Jerry quite literally grew up a little with each other. It hurt bad losing another relationship, especially with Jerry, because I loved him a lot. I leave the game immediately and I start crying when I see he blocked me. When I look back at it now, I laugh a little. I know I seem like a little bit of a loser since he was just my Roblox boyfriend, but I felt like we were really close. He even knew my sister and I knew his brother. But anyway, I was really heartbroken. I unfriended everyone on my friends list. I didn't play Roblox for a while, like a week. I play Roblox 24 seven. So a day without Roblox is death to me, which is really corny, I know, but I love the game. I'm not trying to self-diagnose myself, but I felt really depressed. I lost all of my best friends and I lost Jerry. Eventually, I started to heal a little bit, even though I kept viewing Jerry's Roblox profile, which I know I'm desperate and corny. <laughs> not her viewing the Roblox profile. <laughs> Yo, not the Roblox profile. <laughs> I met this boy named Daniel. God damn, not a new story. Daniel, hold on. Yo, she met a new nigga. Daniel, hold on. Where he at? Where Daniel at? I think I missed my spot. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Where's Daniel? This shit feel like a show, bro. Hold on. Yo, where's it at? Daniel, where's Daniel? Where are you, Daniel? Daniel. Okay, wait. She made a boy named Daniel through my friend Alejandro on Discord. He was kind of mean to me at first, but we gradually started talking to each other like friends. I developed feelings for him because he was my type and he confessed to me that he liked me. And we started dating. We even had each other's numbers saved. By the way, I was 14. Daniel was 16. Anyways, fast working. Fast working. <laughs> fast working? Fast forwarding? Fast working like two to three years. I get a friend request and I didn't think anything of it because I literally accept every friend request. Oh, you should stop doing that. A week after I accepted the Bacon's friend request. Oh, Bacon. Y'all, ain't a Bacon like a new nigga with, with the hair and shit? And ain't that a Bacon on Roblox? Who wrote this? Are they in chat? I don't know. Let's not call them out. So they got a friend request from a random account that Bacon had messaged her. I wish I had the messages. I took pictures of them, but you'll see why I deleted them later. It said, hey, Naya, Naya, do you remember me? Or something like that. I replied late because I stopped re messaging people on Roblox after Jerry ghosted me. Also, Daniel and I had each other's number, so there was no point on re messaging on Roblox anyway. I said, huh? Because, um, no, I didn't know who they were. I was thinking about it and I thought, could have been one of my friends that decided not to be friends with me anymore. And I asked, wait, where are you from, Pint? Which means Pinterest. Oh, Pint, Pint. Wait, are you from Pint? I was a creator on Pinterest and I had a lot of monthly views, but I deactivated my account on Pinterest and I never actually deleted my deleted pins. I just lost ownership of them. And some of the pins had my face on it. The bacon later replied, what's Pint? So I was like, okay, if you're not one of my old friends, who could it be? I talked to Daniel about it and he said it could be Jerry. By the way, I vented to Daniel about Jerry. <laughs> okay. Thought about it and I was like, no way. Why would he want to talk to me now? And of course it was Jerry. I'm not going to lie. I was super heated because he goes to me and we were going on a two to three year relationship. Like all those years I cannot give back. And I was still really heartbroken. So I basically ran to the Jerry about how upset I was. And I really was upset because he came back to me when I finally healed from him. Like I completely stopped checking on his profile and everything. Jerry apologized and explained that he thought I was cheating on him with Kat, my friend artist I mentioned earlier. I was like, are you serious? He literally could have asked me if I was cheating and he always had no problem going on crazy rants when we were together. So why couldn't he just ask me that? After he explained and apologized for why he ghosted, he started asking me about Daniel, which again pissed me off because he kept calling him Danny like he knew him. Eventually, he asked me if he ever showed me his face. I told him he did and he asked if I wanted to do another face reveal with him. I wanted some closure, so I asked Daniel if he would be comfortable with it. By the way, I was showing Daniel everything while I was while it was going on, and he just thought it was funny. Daniel said it was okay, so I gave him my Discord. We both had new accounts at this point. If I can, I'm gonna put the screenshot of our combo. I haven't logged into Discord since this happened, but in this case, oh wait, hold up. But in this case, they don't have the screenshot. I went first. He said okay. He showed me a picture. He wasn't ugly, but I'm not sure if I'll consider him attractive again. That doesn't mean he's ugly. I told him he looked older than me. By the way, I was 15 at the time, and I'm 4'11". And pretty Pretty skinny i just look younger in general which is one of the reasons why i'm insecure since puberty didn't do me any justice damn i forgot to mention i was arguing with him about our ages on Ro in roblox messages because i thought he was a year younger than me when he's actually a month younger my birthday is in december and his is in january i stopped replying to him on discord because i was kind of embarrassed i'm a little introverted so i don't know how to respond to certain things in roblox messages he said i was pretty and i said thanks he asked me if i want to be in a relationship with him again which just pissed me off all over again because i just went on a whole rant again and kind of backed off I told Daniel I felt <laughs> my old feelings resurf resurfacing. God damn, now you fucking over Daniel. Hold on, man. Pause. You about to fuck over Daniel for Jerry? That. Daniel for Jerry? He asked me if I wanted to be in a relationship with him again, which pissed me off all over again because I went on a whole rant to him again and he kind of backed off. I told Daniel that I had old feelings resurfacing and if he wants us to take a break, I would understand, but Daniel understood and he gave me space. By the way, Jerry texted me near the end of November. My B-Day is in December 5th. So I was expecting a happy birthday. And I made the decision that if he didn't say happy birthday to me, that I was going to unadd him once and for all. That's petty. Nigga said, if they don't say happy birthday for me, I'm unfriending him. Do y'all be feeling like that? Do y'all be feeling like I feel like I feel like that as a kid. Like younger. Like, damn, if this bitch don't remember my birthday, it's raps for her. They don't even be knowing. They don't even be knowing, though. They don't even be knowing they're going to be cut off because you don't say happy birthday to him. Like, yeah, I'ma just wait. Yeah, just wait. I don't know why I was like that. He didn't say happy birthday, so I just did that at the end. Of, at the end, Once again, I was not heartbroken. I vented to Daniel about how I felt, and he told me my feelings were valid. By the way, 
It's not like I don't love Daniel. I really love Daniel. It's just that I can't get over Jerry and I don't know why because I feel so angry for what he did to me. Some weeks later, Alejandro went on Jerry's profile. I forgot to mention Alejandro knew Jerry and he saw that he had a girlfriend and showed me and surprisingly, I didn't feel heartbroken. I just felt angry because he really didn't mature at all. He tried to get back with me while being in a relationship himself. And honestly, that made me unsure of actually tried to be in a relationship with me or he just wanted my photo so he can make fun of me with his girlfriend. Daniel says I'm overthinking. Can't help but feel self-conscious about that. Anyway, I'm 16 now. Some months have passed and I feel happy me and Daniel are still together. I love him so much and he treats me like a princess since we've been in a relationship. But now I feel like I'm back to square one trying to heal from Jerry. Damn, I just felt like I just read a nigga diary, bro. I felt like I just read this girl diary. I feel like I just read a diary or some little diary insert. Sounds like a catfish story you'll see on Eve. Just a lot to take in. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You first, you send the pick, my pick. Nah. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, Jerry weird, bro. Jerry black? A nigga? Okay, Jared. <laughs> yeah. What? I know Jerry was a nigga. Or Daniel. This gave off like life is strange uh fucking story. I didn't I didn't I didn't think this was gonna be black. I'm not gonna lie. You wouldn't listen to me, we're literally the same age. You look younger, you look a lot older than me. I look so ugly when I first started talking to you. Okay, bye. Bye? You're just done talking to me just like that? Wait, send another picture. Naya, please. Wait, her name Naya? Why is there so many girls named Naya? Is there anybody named Naya in this chat? It's okay, it's a safe space. You can say your name, Naya. It's okay. Solar in here? It's okay, it's a safe space. Just raise your hand, I'm, I'm Naya. My name's Naya. Damn, there's a million Nayas out here. <laughs> it's a million Nayas out here. My name's Naya. <laughs> God damn, all the Nayas. The Nayas need to clan together and like take over the world, become a fucking uh, transformer or something. Like, you know, just like grab onto each other, make one big human being and just take over some. Blow New Jersey up. Good job, girl. Good job. Now that was a story. What a way to what a way to send us off, man. That was a story. Woo! My my jaw hurt. <laughs>